AA, see you at church. Hi, I'm Manuel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a little message, put the hand up. I do it at the beginning because I have the tendency to forget and I won't come back. And also tell me something you think I should talk about. I'm doing this one because I it's so ridiculous. It was ridiculous when it originally happened and it's ridiculous now because they're undoing what they originally did. When I was younger, you could go to the toilets and the toilets were higher. The basins were bigger and you were farther away from the water. And as I got older, we got a bunch of whiny bitches. Cry, cry, cry. We're wasting water. Cry, cry, cry. We're wasting water. Cry, cry, cry. We're wasting water. So the government cut the toilet in half, made a small base, and your butt was closer to the water. Before, you could flush the toilet, not worry about splashing all over your ass. Now, it don't work that way. Sinks, smaller sinks. Now they want you away from the water. Here they go again. Stupid, stupid people going backwards in time. The only thing that's forward is doot doot. And will it work? We fight and fight and fight those things so the damn sinks turn on. So you can wash your hands. And about 50% of those soap dispenser you put your hand underneath don't want to give you soap. You go sit at the toilet, but before you use it, you want to put a tissue across it. And by the time you're finished putting that tissue, when you go to sit down, the toilet flushes and takes that tissue away. <sighs> so my mom taught me to take a strip of toilet paper, put it, strip of toilet paper, put it, strip of toilet paper, and put it, and then sit down. Why? Because it doesn't have any of that in the water. The toilet can flush, your paper's still there. But because the toilet is so close, the seat, to the water now, the reason for that never made sense to me. Because, yes, it's less bowl, but the same amount of water. But, some stupid bitch, yes, bitch, she was whining, 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 and made the decision that if you have less less water, no, same water, just less away from you. You, it flushes, it wets you. It flushes, it wets the tissue you got there. This is waste, wasted money, waste, waste, waste. Now they're again starting the bullshit. Now they're gonna make it bigger again. Ah! <laughs> I remember a lot of people were trying to get the old toilets before they got rid of them and put them in their house because um, they're more comfortable. And the new ones. 
<sighs> and you have all of these excuses, but you end up flushing and flushing and flushing and flushing and flushing those damn toilets because the power isn't strong enough to take it all away. So you got it all over. What can we say? What are they going to do? Put a suction? That's an idea. You get up, the toilet flushes, a vacuum thing sucks the air out. It won't come at you anymore. It'll go that way, backwards behind you. That's a good idea. They won't think about it. Nope, they're not smart enough to think. The air blows out. Instead, the air will blow in and take, take it away. And it just makes me laugh. They say, privacy, privacy. The doors get smaller, the restrooms get tighter, and <laughs> the distance. I mean, I'm sorry. It, it's just a joke. You go into a little tiny room, which keeps getting smaller, 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 and you say, covert, covert, covert. And guess what? That's your fault. All of these diseases are most of them, you pick them up with your hand. They're not airborne. Neither is this one we're, we're fighting. It's not airborne. None of them are airborne. But we have these stupid masks we're wearing for something that's not airborne. They close the restrooms. Why would you be touching somebody when you go to the restroom? I don't get it, but whatever. Why would you go to the urinal? You go in, you use the restroom, you get out. The thing I've never liked was they have that person there who wants you to live, leave them a tip. And <laughs> I just gonna wash my hands. I don't wanna take my wallet out and leave a tip. <laughs> it's just so ugh, disgusting. But what do you think? They keep making all these stupid excuses. People go to the restroom or they close the restroom. You can't go to the restroom anymore in the in anywhere. It's annoying. It's they've made it impossible to be comfortable in our own country. They don't give one group of people water and now they're pushing us and pushing us and pushing us to wear a mask that's not necessary because the product is not airborne. Next, they're gonna force us to wear gloves. That would work if we wouldn't touch our face with it because we're going to get it full of culprit, culprit touching everything where we're at. And paper seats, they'll still get flushed underneath while you're there trying to put it. I just tear the center off, throw it on the toilet, and then put it out like that, like it should be. And then when I finish using it, I knock it into the toilet and if it I don't have to touch it, I won't touch it, the toilet to flush. Then I go and wash my hands good. Then I leave. But whatever.
This life is getting harder and harder, and the only people that are making it harder are the ones we're paying to make it harder for us. And that's the government. A bunch of useless bureaucrats that do nothing to help us, but make it harder for us. But what do you think? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a little message, put the hand up. I do it right away because I have the tendency to forget and I won't come back. And tell me something you think I should talk about. But until then, AA, see you in church.